So that's the third habitation check done on our van. Everyone, again, by Jamie of JB Caravans. JB Caravans link is in the description below this video. Please go and check him out. I think he covers mainly the Staffordshire area, but he probably goes a little bit further afield. So if you're in within a certain distance of that and you want to check out his services, please go and contact him and mention us if you do, of course. So Jamie has completed the check again. And rather than do what we did in this video and again in this video, so for the habitation check one and two, this time I'm just going to let Jamie beaver away up here on those videos and what we filmed for today's habitation check in the top corner while we discuss what's really covered and why I think that you should have it. Now, of course, habitation checks on the forums that I follow, you always get a mixed response of people that say, yes, they should be done. It's making sure that the van's safe. Maybe you're worried about warranty if the van's still under warranty. Or basically, you just want to know that hopefully it helps with the resale value to show that A, you're capturing any damp issues in advance of, of, of it getting worse and maybe costing more money. And B, it just shows that you've cared for your van. So when we talk about habitation checks, everyone, on the forums that I follow, it's always a mixed bag of responses when people ask about habitation checks. You get one side of the fence that basically says, well, it's making sure the van's safe. You may need it for warranty purposes if, if the habitation area is still under warranty. And you could argue that it helps resale of the van because ultimately it's showing that you've cared for the van and it's been checked every year. And the biggie, I guess, really is capturing any damp that might be starting to happen, which, as we all know, if it's left unattended, if it's left unchecked, it's going to just start costing more and more money. Then there's the other side of the argument, and I know some of you watching this video now will be on that side of the argument, which is where I sit, incidentally, just for the benefit of this video. And then there'll be the ones on the other side of the argument saying, it's a waste of time, you don't need to do it, just go and buy a damp meter, everything's good. So... Firstly, what are the costs of the habitation check? Well, of course, it varies dramatically, not just because of the vehicle that you've got, but, of course, the business that you use. Now, from my limited experience, I say limited because I haven't contacted every dealer in the UK, as I'm sure you can imagine, everyone. The prices can vary if you're having it done at a dealer from, say, £220, £240 to sometimes over £300. Again, it's depending on vehicle and, and, and the business you choose. If the manufacturer of your van allows you, from a warranty perspective, if you're concerned about warranty, to use an AWS-approved workshop, people say NCC-approved. There's a catch there, or not a catch. The NCC-approved, and it's, it's, it's mentioned on the outside of the body of this van, is actually to do with the manufacturer of the van. When it comes to habitation checks, most... The majority of motorhome manufacturers, camper van and motorhome manufacturers, um, permit the use of an AWS, which is a, an approved workshop scheme. If they allow that, then ultimately you normally, at the end of the day, can get it done cheaper than probably the selling dealer that you originally bought the van from. What actually is done in a habitation check? Well, of course, now that we've had ours done, Jamie has kindly emailed it through on a PDF. And because they now come through to me on a PDF, it makes it even easier for me personally with our Roller Team van to email um, Auto Trail. I'll put their email address that we use for Roller Team, where we send it to. We send it by email to um, Auto Trail, which of course is Roller Team at the end of the day. I send them the PDFs. I always say to them, can you just kindly let me know that it's been updated on the system? And I already have an email back, and I'm going to read this bit verbatim from the after sales team saying, Good morning, Mr. Biggs. Thank you for sending over these documents. We have now uploaded and approved these on our system. Now, there has been some discussion on the forums that Roller Team are going to start charging people if they don't use the dealers, because ultimately, I guess they're going to call it an admin fee because I'm sending the documents to them and then they're having to do something. I'm not aware of where that, that, that mention has, uh, or that suggestion has come from. It hasn't happened so far. I read that probably about eight, nine, ten months ago. They're still not charging me to do it. But it's very important that if you have it done by an AWS approved uh, technician, that you send the documents that that technician gives you at the end of the work to Roller Team and that they confirm that they've updated their system. Anyway. Let's see what has been done by Jamie. So I'm going to open up the document now. Now, of course, one of the obvious things, and I'll put it on screen now, 
is the damp check. Damp check is probably the most critical thing you're ever going to do on a habitation check, save for the fact of checking the gas and the electric. We'll come to that in a minute. Because at the end of the day, if you can capture any signs of, 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 of the start of damp being anywhere inside this vehicle, you need to capture it, whether it's under warranty or not. Because we all know that if it's left unchecked, unattended, because you just haven't really noticed it at all, because you, you've not got a damp meter, you're not checking it yourself, it can become a very expensive problem, really rather quickly, particularly with the weather we get in the UK, as I'm sure you understand. So it is very important to have the damp meter put round the van and for that to be documented on the report. But then, of course, there are other things that are checked. And I, I'm not going to go down every single one, but I'll, I'll put a list on screen now. But it includes, of course, checking the 230 volt and the 12 volt operation of the fridge, the leisure battery, the interior lighting and the equipment, the, the fuse box and the writings. You've got things like the actual plug sockets, earth bonding continuity test, check all 230 volt appliances, fans, etc. What's the charge voltage? So is the solar panel on the roof of this van charging the leisure battery? And is the vehicle, when the engine is running, charging the leisure battery? Then, of course, for me, the most important part, the gas system. So, of course, you've got the regulator, gas hose, pipe work, manifold, carry out a gas tightness check. Now, one of the things that, that Jamie does every time is he's got a meter that's reading, obviously, inside the van. You vacate the van with the door shut and it's just checking that there's nothing untoward leaking into the van. This is your safety at the end of the day. Then, of course, a water system. For us, the Truma heating system. And then fire safety because, of course, we've got smoke detector and we've got a carbon monoxide detector and the fire extinguisher. So all these things are checked. So, like I said earlier in the video, everyone, if you sit on this side of the fence... You'll accept that all that work for the cost of, let's say, £170-£180 because it's being done mobile. Which, if you think about it, being done mobile is great as well because you're not having to take the van anywhere, are you? You're not having to drive a van to the dealer and leave it with them and maybe make your own way back or sit in the dealership for three hours or whatever. You literally can just have it done where the vehicle is parked. So people that are on this side of the fence, everyone will look at that and go, yeah, that's, that's worth the money, it's only once a year. You've probably spent at least 30, 40, 50 or more thousand pounds buying the vehicle. Why not invest with that sub 200 pound bill every year? And as I've said, I'm on that side of the fence. And then, of course, you've got people on this side of the fence and there's quite a few of them. They don't believe in spending the money on it. They think it's a waste of money, particularly if the van is out of warranty at the end of the day. They don't tend to have any problems with the van. And they always come out with the old thing of, well, you can go and buy a damp meter, then they're inexpensive. Well, you see, here's my challenge back to them. And if you disagree, that's absolutely cool. It's what keeps the world going round. We all have our opinions, but I'm going to give you my opinion now. There are four of us that travel in this van. We sleep in this van. There is gas contained in this van. There is electricity that's running around in this van. I want to know that my family is safe and buying a cheap damp meter off Amazon, of which we don't have one in our Amazon storefront uh, shop because I don't think people should be doing it this way, so I don't bother putting it in. Having a simple damp meter does not a safe van make. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it, everyone. I've got another problem. So you buy a damp meter. Wonderful. What's the betting that you use it once or twice and then it goes in a drawer or a cupboard and gets forgotten about and you just never do it again? Having an annual check, is it, it means it's always going to get done. If I use Jamie uh, at JB Caravans as an example, they know when the warranty dates and when the checks need to be done on your van. They've took all that information the first time that you've, sit, that, that, that you've used them. So they will contact you at the correct time, or they will look to book you back in if you choose to use them again. At the correct time, it takes all that sort of thought away. They're looking after you and your van. All you need to do is be available at a date and time that suits both you and them, and you get the vehicle done again. So your damp check's going to get done every year, and it's going to get done by someone who's competent and, and knows exactly the best places to check on the van. 
But more importantly still is the gas and the electricity systems are also getting checked on the van. And all this for, well at the time of filming at least, probably under £200, particularly if you're using someone from the approved workshop scheme. For me, it's peace of mind. But I, I've had to get used to the fact that the forums that I follow, when that question comes up, I used to put my views in the comments when somebody new to camper van in a motorhome and asked a question about habitation check. I no longer put my comments on to that person anymore because at the end of the day, they always get a number of answers anyway from lots of different people. But confusingly, if you're that newbie that's asking the question on the forum, you get a wide range of answers. Now, of course, we're going to get to a point where the habitation area of the van is no longer covered by roller team. But we'll still have the habitation checked on everyone. It's peace of mind. It's hopefully catching issues early on, which will you, you would expect to reduce the cost of any repairs if you find those issues. And I guess we just... We drive, live and sleep in this vehicle safe in the knowledge that's been checked by an expert. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Hope you found it informative. And I know we say this at the end of every video, but it's so important. If you did find it informative, please hit that like button. It might take you two seconds to go and find and click the button, but it really does make a difference. It shows your support and it helps build the channel. Leave me a comment underneath. We always welcome comments underneath our videos, everyone. In fact, we have our email address in the description underneath all our videos because we receive more emails than maybe you can imagine. Please send me your thoughts, comments or questions. We always try our best to answer all of them. And if it's a question that we don't know the answer to, we will at least try and find a link or somewhere that you might be able to go and find the answer that we couldn't do or that we couldn't answer for you. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It is completely free. There'll be a link that's going to appear just about there any moment. Again, it costs you nothing, apart from the few seconds to actually go and click on it. But it does, again, help build the channel and it shows your support. See you soon. <music>